Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Simply Tutorials, where the tutorials are simple. And in this tutorial, I had promised on other tutorials that I was going to do some Unity stuff, so here it is. But like the um, title says, I'm going to be showing you how to play an audio file one time in the tr when you run through a trigger, instead of multiple times. It's actually not hard. I actually made it a trigger activate audio file but it can't play it every time you went in the trigger and I wanted to stop that and it's not hard like I said that's why I'm making this tutorial because it's simple it it's just that easy but first off I'm let's go ahead and get you started with a new JavaScript right there right click create JavaScript we're gonna call it one underscore time underscore a u d i o audio one time audio and you can call it whatever you want you don't have to call it what i what i have and i will post a link to this um this javascript for those of you who are just having problems for some reason and if you want in the description i'll have the source the code written down because it's not very long let's go ahead and open it up and let's move that right there. Okay. And here it is in the model development. First things first, you need to say what are you what are you declaring? You know, what are you what is your variables? And in this case it's an audio file. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bar oop nope V A R. Not no capitals. Audio A U D I O. And what are we what is it? It is a A U D I O S O U R C E audio source. So the code. And then we're going to add a boolean in there, which is an on off trigger, on and off switch basically, which I'll show you exactly what it is for those of you who do not know. But for right now, it's just bar A U D I O audio on. as a bool le boolean equals false there we go that's it for that and we're going to go into the update and we're going to write an if statement basically if a u d i o audio oh darn it right there there we go a u d i o audio equals no audio on equals equals false no caps false then oh excuse me right into these boom we're gonna put a u d i audio dot get component C O M P O N E N T dot those greater than and equal, I mean, greater than and less than symbols A U D audio S O Q R C audio source and then the two bubbles. Or two half bubbles, which is nine and zero, and then semicolon. Okay, and that's it for that. Now we need to do a trigger. Make sure everything's good. That's to that. That's to that. That's what we want. Okay. Basically, what this says is that if this button equals false, play the sound. This sound room right here. Okay, now we need to make it um, to where once you enter the trigger, it's going to equal true. Therefore, you can't enter it back again because it's always going to be true after you enter it that first time. Basically, you open the door, you leave it open. You know, it's not going to automatically close behind you. So let's write that in. Function f u n c t i function on. 
on T R I G G trigger enter E N T E R Ooh, excuse me O T A T R other double dots that's what I like to call them T O L L I D E R boom now we're gonna do these two things right here which I don't know what they are but they're always next to my peaky between my peaky and my enter key I honestly don't know what they're called but I know that after you finish a statement in there it's generally a wise idea to put those there I don't know a whole lot about unity but I am a very fast learner and I've learned this in a matter of three days okay now we got the trigger basically and what we're gonna put in there audio like I said audio on equals false and I have learned some, uh, one thing too is that they are very strictler, stickler about capitalization. If you didn't capitalize it, they're not going to correct it for you and it's not going to be able to find it. You're going to get problems and it says always look for that. You know, like here I put audio on and the, the O in on is capital and the N is not. If it's capital here and it's not capital there, then you're going to have problems. So just... It's just easier. That's why I prefer to copy and paste a lot of things. Make sure that equals up to that. That equals to that. That equals to that. Okay. Then we're going to save it. And it's going to tell me that it needs to convert the endings. And I've only had this problem in Unity 5. So. And I always click convert it for me. Keep line endings. Which I'm just going to hit convert. And it does the job. And it works out gravy. Once we got that done, like I said, I'll put it in the description. We're going to go over here. We're going to find our source, audio source, which is right here. I mean, not audio source, but trigger. Which is trigger number two. And we're going to put that on there. Oh, wait. Remove that one. Okay, and it's telling me over here that it's found problems. What problems did it find? On 10 and 13. So let's go over here. Oh, we're supposed to be there. Huh. Huh. Let's try it now. Let's see. Yep, the errors are gone. That's good. Okay, and you'll notice over here that it's actually it's the audio source needs an audio file to play and what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our trigger click uh, audio right there audio source and we're going to go find our audio source or wave file it doesn't have to be wave it can be an mp3 um, unity supports a wide variety of formats um, if you want I'll look up how to I mean look up different formats it supports I'm sure they got a page somewhere for those of you who just want to see. And this is the audio we're going to be using right here. There's 2234, which is, I downloaded it from a website called um, Freesound. And I'll link that in the description as well. And we're going to drag it. Boom. Right there. And we're going to go to Trigger. And then we're going to uh, drag our audio source right there and this is the uh, bowline I was telling you about this is true and when it equals true that's what you'll see and when it equals false that's what you'll see and what we're shooting for is for this to turn on the first time we enter the trigger well it's going to play the audio file then turn this on and, and that'll be on the rest of the game until you reset die or whatever you know until you otherwise change it yourself and that's what we're shooting for. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. Go ahead and start the game up. Okay. Oh wait. You heard it a little bit two seconds ago because I did forget one thing. Turn this play on wake. Click on your audio source and you uncheck that box. 
I'm gonna leave that there for a second. So if you need to, you can see it. Okay, let's go back. You know she didn't hear that time. And see, we won't play it again. And that is it. That is it's how easy it is. Like I said, it's ten minutes, but it's it's ten minutes of just little stupid things, you know. I did run into some problems, but I was like, we were able to go overcome them. Um, like I said, the links, as always, will be in the description, so be sure to check that out. The code itself will be in the description, for those of you who just don't feel like downloading the script. Um, but, like I said, I'll have that in there. I do use a program, I mean a website called AdFly, so you will see those. They're five seconds, and you have to. You don't have to watch anything. You don't have to buy anything. You just wait five seconds, and then you hit the button, and that helps me out. Helps the channel out. Um, I'm doing everything possible. I'm not. I don't want to be monetized, because I don't want commercials or ads on my YouTube videos. I just want you to be able to watch me. The future, I may have a sponsor or whatever to help. You know, because I'd like to be able to do stuff like this, and I'd actually like to be able to do more research and get more videos out to you. That is my end goal, and you know, it's all about you, the viewer. And I and I appreciate all the views that y'all give me, the subscriptions and all that stuff, the likes. It's nice, and you know, I really do appreciate it. But like I said, it is it's just a little ad thing, and I get paid for every time you you look at it, so. It helps me out, it helps the channel out, and hopefully we can grow and be better. And right now it's just me, but further down the line I'd like, you know, to be able to get someone else in that knows more about this stuff than I do that can actually help me learn to help y'all learn. But anywho, that's pretty much it. Like I said, links in the description. Be sure to check those out. And I appreciate it, everything y'all have done. And I hope to see you in the next video.